Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for August 21st, 2024. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Right away, the song came in. It's like, I beat you. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know the rhythm? Do you guys know how to read rhythm or beats or something? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the angels crying, and I'll be there. <laughs> that's what i heard okay spirit right away said who the hell would do this to the divine feminine what in the world did you think that you were going to accomplish by treating this woman or this emperor the way that you did who gives you the right to make anyone feel like they're inadequate and that they don't deserve to have a chance who does somebody here think they are this looks like an aries a taurus a libra a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a Pisces, somebody here did wrong on the Divine Feminine. And I'm telling you right now that you did so bad on a Divine Feminine that this Divine Feminine is going to level up by 100. And even though she might not be in a relationship with anybody, it's not the fact that she don't want to be in a relationship with anybody. She can be with whoever it is that she wants to be in a relationship with or vice versa. He, um, They choose not to lower their energy down to a vibration where if they, they, if they know what their value is if they know what they deserve they're not going to sit down and be stuck in a relationship with somebody who doesn't even know themselves hangman five of pentacles uh this person looks like they're gonna try and come back towards you but right now they might be stuck right now i feel like spirit got them by the ankles like we're gonna hang you up for a second for what you did to ours so the energy of three you are protected at this time and forever especially in love you're protected spirit said we're not gonna let no <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, spirit's so we're not gonna let no dim weed. Yo, spirit's so drunk. That was a man. He's like, we're not gonna let no dim weed come anywhere near you. <laughs> so <laughs> So your body is a temple, you are a temple, you are the divine feminine, divine masculine. You're not going to Put your body in places where it don't belong. You're not going to let people or man or woman touch you, especially if they're already touching a million other people anyway. You are crowned with a crown for a specific reason. And I told you guys this a long time ago. I said, today you guys are going to be crowned. You guys are going to notice that you were crowned in some sort of way. You were, you will know that there was a crown placed on your head, whether it be through dreams, subconsciousness, visions, whatever it may potentially be. But make sure that you guys are going to sit pretty at all costs. There's something about your garden. Your garden is flourishing. Spirits want you guys to spend time in nature, be abundant in nature, go for a walk, because that's where your energy belongs. Because you guys are the energy of the Empress, you guys are immediately Mother Gaia. And if you're an Emperor, you're Mother Gaia still. So spend time in nature, go for a walk, be by the lake, do what you need to go, don't go down by the river, put your feet in some sand, whatever it is, just spend time in nature because Mother Gaia would really, really appreciate you uh, hanging out with her for some time. <laughs> She's, it's, she said, I've been waiting for you. Mother Gaia said, I've been waiting for you. The trees have been waiting for you. Wherever it is that spot that you used to always go to, <coughs> there's a spot that you always used to go to. Those spirits that would be lingering around that area, they're saying, we've been waiting for you. Where have you been? So there's a spot that you usually go to. They want you to go back and say hi to them. Coming in with the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Five of Wands, there could have been somebody here who may have been having a conversation with you. Uh, it's kind of weird. I'm... Okay, for some of you guys, there's going to be like a physical altercation where maybe the police are going to end up being involved, but you're going to be saved from the situation that you're going to like, I just see you kicking ass like chariot to the five of wands. You kick their ass. You kick their ass so bad that they thought that they could beat you up. And then in the end, they got kicked in the face. <laughs> Somebody got kicked in the face. I don't know if this is like whatever but somebody i do see that somebody here is going to be getting into a fight with somebody who doesn't really know how to fight and it's like you chose a battle that you shouldn't have chose like you should have it probably started off with like verbal communication and then one person just was decided to be like a little bitch about everything on the page of swords like one person speaking the truth the other one is talking stupid a fight broke out boom bullshit happens chariot and then 
everyone sees the truth for what it is so then you get saved you get like you get protected like meaning that you don't go to the bin you don't get charged you don't get nothing it will turn out to be the fact that it was actually self-defense a chariot card so you guys are going to be just fine in that situation if it does end up actually happening you will be fine no charges will be pressed on you because it was out of self-defense <sighs> I also see here that there's going to be communication between you and somebody who's going to be trying methodical, analytical, and they are trying to talk to you, but in the end, it's like, you're very smart mouth. I see a smart ass mouth here, but spirits are trying to redirect you. So be so spirits are trying to redirect you when it comes to your communication, the way that you speak to people, because maybe people don't really know how to handle you. And it could cause, to ultimately cause a fight. If you guys are in a relationship with this person, saying that you guys are going to fight with this person, make sure that you guys are not placing yourselves in any kind of domestic abusive relationship. And if it does ever get there, make sure you know how to get the fuck out of it. Ace of Swords. There is this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Gemini Libra Aquarius, who's been thinking a lot about you. This person wants to come back and they want to speak to you again after you guys fighting with each other. They feel a little bit defeated after what had happened, but at least now they know the truth of what's really going on and it's causing them to really think a lot. It's almost like this person's having visions, daydreaming, thinking a lot. And I think the last thing that they're going to want you to do, they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to quit. They don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want you to leave countries leave towns they just don't want you to leave but i think in the end it's like it doesn't matter you are gonna leave at eight of cups and the ten of swords when the time is right you will leave so i think this person's like kind of feeling the energy that you guys are about to walk away or leaving this person's really sad and they want to they, they're thinking a lot and wondering if whatever had happened here is going to be the result of you actually wanting to kind of like make a move at the same time i think you guys have been really strong in this situation uh, temperance card, strength card, you've been very strong, you've been holding down your position, you've been trying to do everything you can to control your emotions, and you've been looking at things at a very high perspective, like at a bird's eye view, you've been looking at things in a more rational and logical way, you weren't allowing your feelings or your emotions to take over, but of course they said the, they, they said the cup spilled, the cup spilled, the cup spilled because there's only so much of abuse that anyone can take in their life, emotionally, physically, spiritually, until eventually the cup will spill and then you're going to cry. And then you will cry. You did everything you can to juggle your emotions, right? It's like turning uh, water into wine. You did everything you fucking can, but the pain that these people were causing you were so fucking mean. They're mean, yo. But you're strong and you're courageous and you're brave and you spoke your truth and you know how to work around people and these people know how to work with you and this person probably wants to, like if this is a relationship, take it as it goes for you guys. Relationship, workship, whatever the fuck you want to call it. At the end of the day, energy is energy. So if these people are still wanting to sit down and they want to talk to you, work with you, this person does care about you a lot. King of Cups, they're trying to do something, they're trying to make a quick move. But they're trying to be precautious about it. And it's almost like they're trying to separate everybody on the Three of Cups. Somebody here is trying to separate everybody. You see on the Ten of Pentacles, they want the best people on the front line. Like, look at this motherfucker over here, yo. He's sitting there swimming in a pool of uh, money. <laughs> yo, know, this card is so jokes. You guys, oopsies. You guys see him? He's swimming in a pool of money. <laughs> Fucking funny. Okay, so, yeah, somebody here is trying to... This person's got a really big heart. Like, this King of Cups, they got they they got a really big heart, and they're trying to take action and move in a cautious way to separate the Three of Cups for, to the Ten of Pentacles. So, in, in order for this pretty people here to create a family, a home, a st stable money, there are going to be a group of people who are going to have to be separated. Three people are being separated from each other right now because the only way to get something done or to separate the problem is if if they separate them in order to have the Ten of Pentacles, you understand me? If you guys are going to go to some sort of gathering, functional thing, whatever the case is, there is going to be a group of people who are going to be running their mouths talking a whole bunch of shit. Just act like you don't give a fuck and then just start doing your yoga, just like how this woman is doing her yoga. She's like, oh, namaste. <laughs> Look at this one over here. She's in the back. She's doing a motherfucking handstand and her head is on the ground. 
uh, I felt like you guys were kind of like stuck in a way. I'm going to read this energy in two different ways. I feel like you guys were stuck in a way on the Knight of Wands, the Death card in reverse. Uh, you kind of were like stuck. You didn't really know how to move forward, but the energy got completed on with the world card. It's like the, the, the universe came through for you and put an end. Um, and now spirits are going to trap your enemies with the snake for what they've done to you. You can work just fine in peace. However, though, there's a decision that's going to have to be made on the Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You just feel like you're still carrying all this burden. And I think in the end, it's like maybe somebody here is kind of getting the hinge that you're ready to make a move, dip out, whatever the case is, Page of Cups. Uh, I feel like you've learned from this situation. I feel like whatever you guys had going on while you're in this situation, you've already planted something else. Especially with the judgment card. Judgment is being called in on this. You've already planted something else. And you don't see it yet because it's far away. Right? You just don't see it yet. I also see that you guys are just tired of everyone's negative shit and bullshit. It's really affecting you. But you are being redirected. Um, with the Ten of Cups, your most thing right now would be that you want to just simply be happy. But you're just having to stuck in a situation that because you don't really know how to come out. Maybe some of you guys are in a position of the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you have to make a decision between two different homes. Or you have to make a decision between two homes, having to move from a home, or you got a few kids and you got to sort that out. Maybe you're just really busy right now because you don't have anyone else supporting you with the Nine of Pentacles, so it's making things a little bit hard for you. So you guys look like you're going to be seeing a new home coming in very soon, and you might end up actually taking it. <clears throat> I also see here, too... That you guys are stars, limelights. You guys are literally limelights, spiritual limelights, maybe YouTube, TikTok, wherever you guys go on the platforms. But it is saying that you are, in fact, a star. You are a celebrity. A lot of you guys are just really tired and exhausted as well from always having to defend yourself. It's exhausting. It's tiring, especially when you're a gifted like this to this type of level and you carry something very... Uh, divine within you a lot of people are not gonna they it's not that they don't like you bro it's not that they just said it's not that they don't like you bro they don't like what you carry they don't like what you have that's why they attack you that's why they attack you they don't attack you because they hate you they attack you because they don't know what you are they attack you because they don't understand why you are like that and they are not but it is exhausting sometimes I feel like a lot of people might be giving up too on attacking you just because you're too highly protected you're you're tired and exhausted too they're tired and exhausted too because they're getting fucked up for it you're not getting a fu you're not getting as fucked up as they think that you're getting fucked up you're just exhausted and tired of having to defend yourself but they're getting exhausted and tired for attacking you because you're handling your shit and they're all the way fucked up they are they're all the way fucked up um you guys have been going hard on something for the last few months years You've invested a lot of time. Spirit and the angels want you guys to get ready and to start planning for the future. There's something really big coming for you guys, and you guys already can sense and feel it. <coughs> so it's time for you guys to step into your power and start taking uh, note of that. I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there. They're showing me, like, nuclear flares falling from the sky. And then they're showing me that it's not going to maybe be in North America. It will it will not be here. It will be somewhere else. But it would have been like an investment that the, that the G-Mint would have created. Yeah. That's just the fucking FYI. But that's the future. Like when I talk about the future, I'm talking about the fucking future future. Like future future. Like far away from now future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's future, future. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, regardless, though, there's somebody here. Uh, so you're going to just trust the universe on the full card, magician card. You're going to take your power back and trust the universe that wherever it is that you land is exactly where you're meant to be. You have so much love and happiness. You want your wishes to be fulfilled. Four of Wands. You're so loving, so beautiful. Uh, you want to create a peace and harmony in your life where you're going to have love in your life, especially encounters with other people. It is time for you guys to move forward, but you're moving towards the justice card and also the sun card. You're going directly into happiness, wealth, happiness, peace, tranquility, justice, all that you want. There is a huge opportunity coming towards you. Make sure you don't miss out on it because it's going to be two in one.
two in one. What is it? I'm not going to show it to you because I'm just <laughs> to protect you. Uh, so when these two opportunities come in, you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. There's going to be at the exact same time. You're going to be like, holy shit, what do I do? But you know what you do? You take both of them and that's exactly what you should do. I know a lot of you guys may have been by yourselves working alone, but it's like you do so much better by yourself than you do with other people. But don't let that stop you or discourage you from you being able to get to all your goals and aspirations. Uh, yo, big energy is right here for sure. Divine is watching over you and protecting you. That looks like there's going to be something that's coming in very fast on the Eight of Wands Tower card. Whatever energy this is, is going to fucking drop, kick everybody on the Tower card, Three of Swords, the World, the world card, the Emperor card, Power, the Hidden Enemies, the Page of Wands, and then the Three of Wands. Something is coming in directly for a young Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like it's not that, though. It could be... Um, somebody who's short, I keep picking up a short person on the page of wands and it's been dwarf energy for a bit, but I don't even know what to tell you guys at this point. Something big is coming in and it's going to just come smacking somebody and it is going to be very hurtful. This person has to take control over the situation for all the lies and the deceptive energy that was created. I don't think someone's going to want to be able to see themselves on the page of wands. So they just might actually pack up their shit and fucking leave without really, uh, admitting to anything on the moon card so this person's been watching everything and they've been holding back and they see that you're going through a lot and they don't want this cycle to continue to go this way let me start off with something else now or should i just do a part two oh, i'm just gonna uh part two they said okay bye